In this chapter, I will talk about three distributions. Uniform distribution, normal distribution, and exponential distribution. These are continuous probability distributions. What does it mean? The value a variable takes is not integer. It's a real number. There will be countless of number of digits after decimal. For example, in a discrete probability distribution between 0 and 1, there are just two numbers. One is 0 and the other one is 1. But in a continuous probability distribution between 0 and 1, there are millions and millions and millions and billions and billions and trillions and trillions of numbers, such that probability of the random variable taking any specific value is equal to zero, because probability of everything is one. And there are infinite numbers over there. Each takes a piece of this one for each individual value, the probability that the random variable takes that value is zero. Therefore, we never talk about probability of a continuous random variable to be equal to a specific value because we always assume that specific value is equal to zero. Now look at these three distribution and see what is the main difference between these three. As we can see, if we want to find the probability between two numbers, when the distance between those two numbers are equal, as we move left and right, in uniform random distribution, in this distribution, the gap between these two points is equal. Now, if you move to the left or to the right, the area which shows the probability for the uniform distribution remains the same. For normal distribution, when we move to the left or to the right, that area, that uh, probability area, gets smaller. When we get close to the average or median, size of the orange area gets bigger. For exponential probability distribution, which is the last one, when we move to the right, probabilities get smaller and smaller. When we move to the left, they are larger.